Hello and welcome back to another video. Today, by popular demand, we're going to be showing you how to set the proper tamping depth for your combo, tamper, and distributor multi-tool. If you haven't already picked one of these up, it's a great way to eliminate some frustration of inconsistent tamping. This makes sure you go to the same depth each and every time. I will leave this tamper, as well as the tamping mat and dosing funnel for the Breville Barista Express linked down in the description below. So without further ado, let's jump straight in into getting this set to the proper tamping depth. The first thing we're obviously going to have to do is grind out a full dose of espresso into our portafilter. And now that we've got that dose of espresso in there, with the distributor set to the absolute minimum it can be at, distribute your puck. And now, with the tamping side also set to its minimum, tamp the puck. Now, that is clearly gonna to be too shallow and don't be alarmed. What we're gonna do is now screw this into our group head tighten all the way to the right where we would be in brewing position. Now, unlocking this, we're going to notice something. What you're able to see is a full imprint of the shower screen. This is what we're trying to avoid. If the coffee puck comes in contact with the shower screen, it will scorch the coffee and increases the potential for odd channeling water flow throughout the puck. So, our goal is to extend this tamping side until we no longer see that impression from the shower screen on our puck. So we'll let this out a little bit. I'll start by doing it a few turns, but we'll want to decrease that increment as we get closer to the right level. So if I go to tamp this now, I can still feel that it takes no pressure and I am not making contact with that puck. So again, I will let the tamper out a little further and try again. Now I'm going to repeat this process again, letting it out by one or two turns at a time until I notice I make contact. So right on that one there, I made contact with the very highest points. I can still notice a bit of the imprint of the shower screen. So now what I'm going to do is let this out by one half turn and try again. And that time I felt some resistance from the puck. And if we look at this, now the imprint from the shower screen is completely gone. So we will lock that in and that is our proper tamping depth. If you want to use the distributor side and not use the tamping side at all, you can repeat this process with the distributor side and have that set to the proper tamping depth. My preference is to use the distributor again at the minimum setting and adjust the tamping side to the preferred depth. Now, if you trust my judgment, I can measure this for you right now. This is at 7.5 millimeters. So if you happen to have some calipers or a very accurate way of measuring, you could put yours to seven and a half millimeters. However, I highly recommend doing this quick demo. It's not gonna waste any coffee as now you have a puck and you can brew a shot of espresso. So I hope that this was helpful for you guys. I hope you learned something. Again, this tamper, tamping mat, and dosing funnel will all be linked down in the description below. They're all great tools for your home espresso setup. And without further ado, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.